Hi everyone, and welcome to the Target 21 Part 5 Homework Review. So as always, this deals with one of our worksheets. Clearly it is the Part 5 worksheet that this one is um, linked to this time. And so I picked three problems that really highlight the skills that we introduced um, during the Part 5 notes. Again, that was Target 21, and that deals with angles on, inside, and outside of our circle. And we really, in part five, focused on inside and outside. And so remember, um, here, let me move that a little farther away. We'll do a little bit of review here. Um, remember, when the angle is on the inside, and that's kind of like here in the first problem we got, so that's number 1F, what I mean by inside is these two lines intersect inside my circle. And so we're looking at like angle one here. And when it's inside, in general, what we're going to say is the angle measure is going to equal the two arcs added together, so arc plus arc divided by two. But then sometimes we have angles on the outside, right? And so that's like 3D here, and we know it's on the outside because take a look at where these two lines intersect. Outside, right? And we're looking for that angle one on the outside. And in general, the equation for um, finding an angle on the outside is that our angle will equal arc minus arc divided by two. And so let's try to apply these general formulas with these specific numbers here, and let's feel comfortable with these skills, all right? So again, this is a homework review for part five, so the part five worksheet, and we're gonna go through number one F, number three D, and number four B. And so let's start with the first one. If we wanna find angle one, remember this is kind of what we're looking for. Right? If we look at that angle, angle one, and we look across from it, we can see that in between the lines that make angle one, we know there is a 75 degree arc. And then we want to think about angle one's vertical angle. So that'll be the other side of it, across from that intersection point. And then we want to look across at the arc that is in between the vertical angles, um, sides of the angle. <laughs> and that's where we get the two arcs we're working with, right? because on the inside, it's arc plus arc divided by two. So once we identify the two arcs, again, across from the angle and across from its vertical angle, we can figure out what angle one is. So measure of angle one is gonna equal those arcs added and divided by two. So 25 plus 75 divided by two. And 25 plus 75 is 100. And then 100 divided by 2 is 50 degrees. And so angle 1 is 50 degrees. Now remember, just I'm going to put this into our circle. Angle 1 is 50. And remember, vertical angles equal each other. So the other side is 50 as well, right? So that's kind of how that works. All right, let's do 3D. This time, just like we talked about, it's on the outside. So we're going to work with angle equals arc minus arc divided by 2. So we just got to figure out which two arcs we're working with. And so the angle always creates a bigger arc that's farther away and a smaller arc that is closer. This line right here on the left, remember it's called a tangent line. It's hitting our circle in one spot. And so from that spot to the outside until we hit the other um, side of our angle, that's our big arc. So 142 is the big arc which makes 52, the one that's closer to angle one, our little arc, so that's between the dot and the other side of the angle. And those are the two arcs we're gonna work with, 142 and 52. We always do big minus small, and then we divide by two. So our measure of angle one will be 142 minus 52 divided by two. And 142 minus 52 is 90. And we still got to divide that by 2. 90 divided by 2 is 45 degrees, right? 45 degrees. And that is our answer for angle 1 in problem 3D. Now, as you can see in problem 4B, right, we know this angle, 28 degrees, and where those two lines intersect is on the outside. So again, we're going to work with outside an angle on the outside. And so it's gonna be our angle equals arc minus arc divided by two. And so let's figure out those arcs we're working with. The one that's farther away, right? In between our two angle sides, that's 82. The one that's closest in between the two angle sides is X. 
And then again, we know our angle. And it's always angle equals arc minus arc divided by 2. So 28 equals 82 minus x divided by 2. And then we need to get at x here. So we'll times both sides by 2 so that we can cancel the denominator of that fraction. And that'll just leave us with what's on top on the right side. So 82 minus x. On the left, we need to actually do 2 times 28. And that is 56. And so it equals 56. We got to get x by itself. So we'll subtract 82 from both sides. And 56 minus 82 is negative 26. And that equals negative x right now. And then we can divide by negative 1 or, right, because that just flips our signs. Or we can just think of it as negative 26 equals negative x. So positive 26 equals positive x. And that is our answer. All right. I hope this helps. I hope it's, you know, continuously like re-clarifying all these skills. I know in our circle unit, we learn a ton of properties. And so keep watching the videos, keep asking questions as they arise and keep working hard. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much. And I will see you in our last section of unit seven, um, the target 22 parts, six notes very soon. So thank you very much.